Hey you guys, it's me, the Thrifty Hijabi, and I'm back with another video. So it is Sunday, June 6th, and today I woke up, and I wanted to get out early to get to Goodwill when they opened up, which was at 10 o'clock. Didn't make it quite there at the time of opening because I overslept, but I did get up eventually and make it out there. It was like after one when I got out there, but I've been there all day probably. Um, almost to closing. I don't even know what time they closed, but I think they pretty much was closing right after I left. So I wanted to, it is now after 11 o'clock. It's going on midnight, you guys, like seriously. And I wanted to get this thrift haul out the way. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and record it as I was trying to talk myself out of it but I had to like pump myself up and it was like no let's just get it done let's get it out the way so I'm going to get right into it and show you everything I got so we can get this video up on my channel okay so first thing I got let's see this is like some you know what I purchased this because it's like that lycra almost like that um athletic um moisture wicking kind of fabric kind of like the kind of stuff you see like the burkinis made out of so i saw this top and it was the half off yellow was the um color for the day so everything that color is half off so i like the print and the fabric it's like a tunic so i just picked that up um, let's see this is um top by banana republic i believe yeah, Banana Republic Strike, little woven top. And here's the thing, you guys. Like, this is the first time I've seen them price stuff in a Goodwill, at least that Goodwill, for less than $5.99. Everything usually starts around that price, unless it's a kid's item. But today, they actually had stuff that was like $2.99, $3.99. So if it was half off, I got this for $1.50. And that's the first time, like, I've been in Goodwills down here where that's you can get stuff for that cheap. So that was... That was a great thing to see. Um, I hope they continue to do that because some of their prices get like ridiculous, ridiculous in the goodwill. So uh, here's a J. Crew top, just like has some embroideries, new with tags. Um, this was another like two ninety nine item, so I picked that up. Let's see, this is a shirt by Maurice's. It's an extra large, just a little striped kind of um like has like an embroidered detailing button down front with the tie on the bottom hem this is by Zach and Rachel it's just a chiffon printed top it has a button up front it's not closed right now and then it has a little split detail in the back another half off item when I go to Goodwill I literally um look for stuff that's half off that's primarily what i pick up um i do pick up stuff that is full price you know but it's just depends on uh the style the brand uh you know all of that it's a little um you know hunter green has like this little i don't know if they call it lattice or you know this little net sort of design in the back with the little ruffles bounce ruffle detailing another half off item um this is by alter state a size large it has like this kind of um embroidered but woven kind of detailing on it a little peplum top i thought it was really cute that's another item that was less that was like four bucks it was um uh listed as four bucks this is of course what attracted to me to this was like their pineapple print the cute like pineapple print a little sleeveless kind of like pop over hoodie um has a hoodie in the back little drawstring uh um neckline another half off piece Another half off piece that was only four dollars listed as four dollars. I don't even know what brand this is. Let me see what brand this is. I just picked it because of the print and the color. Red camel, a size large. Um this is this is a Zach and Rachel's top, another like chiffon 
printed top kind of has like that trapeze layered hem it has like an open back i think so a little layered detailing zach and rachel what size is that it's a medium um you know i think i don't think the plus sizes were that cheap like i think the smaller sizes may have been priced somewhat cheaper like that um this is a dress barn top look floral has like these flounce sort of ruffle detailing sleeves and this little um pleated peplum hem i thought was really cute this is um size four hmm. i know this is a half off thing too yep half off of that the majority of stuff i'm gonna buy or purchase from goodwill is always gonna be half off i'm always gonna be looking for the color tag of the week to save money on what i purchase for inventory so you know i always want to keep the inventory uh price as low as possible um considering the fact that i want to make a profit and um so this is a raffaella just all white white um eyelet detailed top um you know generally when it comes to white like honestly if i buy something white it has to look like it's brand new like it has to really look like it's never been worn because yeah, buying white is is tricky you know like um it's so easy to mess up so if i buy something white it has to look brand new or like i can tell nobody's worn it um, this is like just a simple chiffon, little kimono, sleeveless kimono, waterfall detailing, like Jessica London, size 12W. This is a Sonoma peplum style top with the eyelet detailing again. It's another half off um, item. This is like, I believe this is Lane Bryant. Just a plain top. You know, if it wasn't Lane Bryant, I wouldn't buy it because it looks so plain, but people tend to like um, Lane Bryant, a lot of plus size. Uh, I noticed that this seems to be a brand that a lot of plus size women like. So I bought it. It has like, like this little drawstring size at the bottom. Another half off item. This is a French laundry new tags top. It's simple. I had like a little uh, flounce pleated detailing around the neckline. It's another half off item. This is a W5 little um, striped top, soft little knit top, button down front, top, bottom. Another half off item. This is a um, laundry by Shelly Seagull. Um, another like uh, printed chiffon style top. Uh, half off item again. I think that's like a size large. Yep, size large. Um, this is an Eloquy. Eloquy top size 16. I just love this. I love that pattern and detail. Like that cutout. I don't know what you call that, but that's so pretty. That royal blue. And this one's actually half off too. So that was great. Um this is a little uh just cardigan with this cutout crochet lace detailing on the front. Yep. So a button up, really cute by Ann Taylor. This is another half off item. This is something else by Eloquy. I think I bought this brand maybe once. I think it's a pretty good brand. I think they tend to sell plus size. I may be wrong if I'm not mistaken, but I thought that's what they might specialize. It's just a printed top, silky kind of printed top with a a button down no it doesn't have a button down front it has like a oh no button down front but just pick that up size 16 is a great size 
this is a anthropology brand i sold one thing in this brand girls from savoy little top cute little top it has like a, a tie waist in the back that's like a size two next thing is um something by a brand i never purchased cloud chaser but i just love the print and uh it's a chiffon like this really pretty like um blush pink color printed has like these tie sleeves i thought it was so so cute it was half off so got that picked that up um basic gold shimmer sparkly top by Catherine's size 16w so that's a win this um so this was a really cute top love the prints um this is um mm, this is by dr2 i think that stands for something um this little printed top i love the colors love the print it has this cold shoulder detailing that's also half off so you know we just want to keep them yellow tags rolling in half off we love half this is another top just like the one i showed you i found two of them so i got them so might as well might as well pick them up both of them were half off so might as well oh i got this because it said covered <laughs> and i was like oh that's so cute so i don't know I don't know what I can do with this, but I loved it. It said cover. It was in this, like, you know, really glittery, you know, graphic wording. So, I said, see what I can I can do with that. It was a couple bucks, so. Um, let's see. This is Maurice's really cute boho top stripe with these beautiful bell sleeves size what size is this this is an extra large love extra larges um this is a jessica london new with tags um it's a button up top with this uh eyelet cut out detailing and has these pretty dots flounce bell sleeves so, I like that. That was also a half off piece. Okay, here's another just simple white. Um, has like this raised Swiss dots on it. Little ruffle detailing around the neckline and arm openings. This is another half off for less than six bucks. So, I think it was listed at, it was priced at four dollars. So, I got that for less than two dollars. Okay, Goodwill. Okay, this is Ann Taylor Loft um, top. It has this um, really nice embroidered mesh front. Really pretty. Really pretty. Another half off item. Um, this right here is, I thought this was really pretty. This is by Intro. Intro makes some really pretty boho pieces. Um, this pretty boho blouse, um, these balloon style sleeves, really pretty. Has some like embroidered detailing up here. Really pretty top. That is a size small. Is it? Yes, it's a size small. This is a cloth and stone plaid button up top cloth and stone that's like an anthropology brand and uh this is a pretty good brand i think people tend to like it, it has like the raw free um edges at the bottom a simple piece but people like that brand so i picked it up and that was half off so that was great this is a top by athleta so this is like a uh um athletic top by athleta simple i pick up stuff like this when i see it and it's priced well 
I don't pick up a lot of athletic stuff, but I will if I come across it. And it's priced well, I will actually, I will absolutely pick it up. Let me okay, this next thing is a, this is a cardigan by Boston Proper. I think this is the first thing I'm pulling out that I actually paid full price for. And this is, um, it's like this really cute, I really love it. It's just, it has like that spider web like, um, knit open back. I thought that was so cute. But just like, uh, like, I guess bolero, bolero style, um, that kind of circle sweater style. So I just thought that was so cute. And, uh, yeah, I picked that up for full price. This next piece. This next piece is a Lafayette 148. Um, it's new with tags. Um, picked it up because of the brand alone. It's a wool, a wool blazer. And although Lafayette 148, its retail value is pretty high. Um, the retail value is not that high, but I still picked it up because it's a wool blazer, black, you know, basic color. Um, somebody will buy it. So. This next piece is by Catherine's. It's a pink plaid. I really love the colors. I thought it was super cute, you know, the colors. And it's a basic button up plaid top. Has the um, roll up tab sleeves. It's new with tags as well. Size 3X. Um, this next piece is by Cabby. And it's a uh, striped um, chiffon sheer top it has like these really cute um poet style sleeves i actually looked up and saw the stock photo for this it's really cute so i picked that up this is actually another cabbie piece um another printed style blouse with those like poet you know uh billowy style sleeves so i picked that one up again that's extra small this is by Athleta. This like army green sort of um, vented or sweatshirt with this mesh detailing. I actually looked up the um, comps on this. Um, I actually saw the stock photo as well and the comps look pretty good so I picked it up. That was a full price. The last four or five things I just picked out were actually pieces I paid full price for. Um, usually when I pay full price for something either I already know like this style this brand you know it commands a higher price and i know i'm gonna be able to make that uh profit um if i don't know then i'm going to look up the cons because i want to know that paying up money i'm going to actually make that back and then some um this is a basic top i bought it's by just true craft i think i just like the color it had like this ombre sort of uh color and uh this was listed at Three dollars and it was half off, so I got that for like a dollar fifty. And I think that was like a one X or extra large, so it was a bigger size. Um, this is a faux winter piece. It's a faux fur, faux leather. Well, vegan leather, vegan leather faux fur. Um, vest by Miss London. Pick that up. Um, that was also half off. This is a top by Jessica London, just plain white top. Again, I look at white. If it doesn't look brand new, then I'm not picking it up. <laughs> so it looks brand new as this, like this floral black um, uh, embroidery on the sleeves, cold shoulder cutout. But that was cute and simple. Um, this is a dress by J. Crew. Um, Cotton dress has like this puckered textured uh, sort of cotton printed detailing strapless um, also half off. I'm sure I can find a stock photo for that because I can always find um, stock photos for J. Crew items. Um, this is Catherine's. Uh, this is a, like a career wear style dress. And it has like this uh, lace uh embroidered detailing down it kind of has a thicker knit like a fall winter um material but i figured um it's a 
one ex, um, people are going back to work, and you know, people are going out more, so I thought it was a good pickup. This other piece is by J. Crew. It's like a tank, but it has like this beautiful, like um, you know, different color like rhinestone detailings in the front. Thought it was super cute. And I'm pretty sure I can find a shop photo for that as well. Okay. So this next piece I have is, I don't know about this brand like that. I looked it up a little bit. I can't remember was it like so great. But I just love the color. It's mustard. I love mustard. It's in this like gauzy fabric. It's like a high-low sort of duster. It has like this button closure right here. And it has like these, you know, flounced sleeves and this, um crochet lace detailing on the front so i don't know i might keep it for myself might list it and see what happens we'll see this next piece is a jumpsuit by michael kors it's like this jumpsuit black jumpsuit it has like these wide um pockets on the bottom like this elastic sort of i think this is like a relaxed style jumpsuit i like like a more relaxed jumpsuit so i thought it was cute it had like the tapered um i have a jumpsuit that's kind of like this like a vintage style jumpsuit it's cute you know you go around wrong with black there's this um exposed gold zipper up the back and actually has a zip up front too. So the neck line zips all the way. So this next piece I have is a simple black dress by Eloquy. It's new with tags, it's a uh, size 24. And um, yeah, simple black dress. I think it has like a, does it have a tie in the front? Yeah, it's like a tie on the side. It is a size 24. Yes, yeah, size 24 is all plus size. So simple plus size black. I think that is a pretty good brand. So I grabbed it. This, I grabbed these. This is the most expensive thing that I grabbed. I don't know if I paid too much for it, but it's a pair of dicky overalls. Um, look brand spanky new. So I grabbed it. I grabbed them. Um, I paid up for them a little bit. So I looked at the comp. Comp look pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, this next piece is a um, by one September. This is an anthropology brand, I believe, and it's just this printed. Uh, cardigan with this like peplum style hem really pretty um so i picked that up uh, i don't think i should have picked this up because i did pay full price for it but i don't know i thought it was cute and it's by exhilaration it is this gauzy sort of teal um embroidered uh dress with fringe detailing on the sleeves it's cute, but it wasn't worth the full price. But I bought it because it was cute. And so that's why I picked it up. This piece is by Trina Turk. And it is um, a printed sort of tunic style dress. Um, so I thought, you know, let me see how it would do. Um, I thought it was cute enough and the price was decent. So I picked it up. Um... This is a piece by Free People. I thought this was so cute. I love this top. It has like these big poet style sleeves, mixed prints, um, really cute boho piece. So pick this up. This is a size a medium. So I picked that up. This next piece is by Vertigo Terrace. I never I've never heard of it, but I did look it up in the comps and looked that bad. So I went ahead and purchased it. It was only, well, actually I did pay full price. 
but I love the style black with this um kind of uh, bronze embroidered detailing so pick that up but that was pretty cute this last piece I was looking for a stock photo because I wanted to see this one because they had it in a dress section but I was like this is not a dress it's way too short to be a dress um and they priced it like a dress it's a gold it's by free people it has like this gold embroidered detailing has like that silky jersey fabric style um so i think i guess it's a top and i thought it was cute i'm gonna look for the stock photo because i want to see how this actually looks but i picked it up i thought it was cute and i thought it was so and that's all of my clothes um i got three pair of shoes um i actually picked these up these are like the first pair of shoes i don't know if it's right. these are men's shoes they were in the women's section i don't know why but they're like a black booty by kenneth cole and i thought okay looks like a quality shoe looking pretty good condition and it was priced regular so i went ahead and picked them up i think they are size 12 Yep, size 12. Another pair of shoes are by Suzina. A pair of suede leather um, loafers with this perforated um, sort of cutout detailing. Um, and the last pair I picked up are some Converse's. I think these will be for my daughter because I asked her, could she fit this size? And she said she could, so I'll see if she can actually fit these if not they will be going up for sale as well and um that is it for my thrift haul today you guys um i hope i did this in a good timing because i really wanted to uh make sure i can get this done as quickly as possible and i'm so happy i went ahead and got it done tonight i'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one so i'm gonna get all of this stuff processed but I still have other stuff from one of my last dip hauls. I'm still processing. But I'm going to try to get this stuff up and ready to get up this week. Um, and so I can get to my really big dip haul next week. Um, actually, my very last dip haul I did before this was in New Orleans. But I didn't bring any of that stuff back. I wasn't planning to go thrifting and buying stuff i wanted to check out the thrift stores but i ended up purchasing some things and what i should have did was i should have recorded a thrift haul while i was there because i knew I wasn't bringing that stuff back with me so um yeah so hindsight i should have just did that but i didn't so um i'm gonna get this stuff processed and the next time i will be back with my really big thrift haul um I'm going to get all this stuff done and I'll see you later in the next video. So until next time, you guys. Mm -hmm.